I'll be honest, like I had no interest in being here, but she planted some seeds. And then um, uh, I discovered uh, freely what to for Banana Girl. Oh, yeah. So, and I'll be, I'll be honest, I was kind of vain. I just wanted to be skinny like her. And you can eat all you want, it won't gain weight. And, you know, it was all vain for me. I was like, well, if I can pick out apples and salads and not get fat, then hey, let me try this. So, and that turned into uh, fasting two months and eating only like potatoes all day or hash mm. browns and maybe a salad here and there. And I actually ended up in the emergency room a couple of times. It's, it's Plus, crazy. I was skinny. I was at my skinniest. So I was like, you know, no way, you know, I'm going to find these skinny. You know, being skinny is everything. You know, when I was vegan, being skinny is like, at that chapter of my life, I was like, you have to be skinny. There's, you can't dare to be fat. Cook meat, but just my mom and I wouldn't eat it. Or what if, it, if my mom just cooking for me, like before I go to work, she would just make me like, you know, something vegan. And she would, if she packed my lunch for work, you know, she'd make me like potatoes. Like my average lunch would be like five, you know, steamed potatoes and like 10 raw chili peppers. Wow. I'm ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so like when you were doing this, did yeah. you have, did, did did you have friends who were discouraging it or encouraging it, or did you have people who were doing it alongside with you, other than your mom? Uh, was there any how, what happened with like the social aspect of it? Sadly, at that time, because I was skinny, right? I was skinny. I was looking good. Oh. Here we go again. Another ex-vegan who was obsessed with being skinny and starved themselves. But instead of taking any accountability, let's just blame Freely and veganism. I'm not naive. I know that at least on the surface, my videos do come off as insensitive. But come on, people. Are we really going to just turn a blind eye to this? Why are people too polite to point out these obvious things. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. If you severely restrict your food, you are going to have health issues. That is just a fact. Yet these ex-vegans all huddle together in their little safe space then cry out, It takes a scientist to figure this out. We could sit here for hours talking about Freely, but the one thing I will defend her on is that she has always strongly opposed any type of restriction, fasting, or juicing. It's really funny to me how so many of these ex-vegans love to hate on Freely, but nearly every damn time they always say they wanted to be skinny like her. Beneath this whole poor me, let's blame Freely facade, they are secretly jealous and it shows. Yet of course, it's always much easier to play the blame game than take any accountability. I have made a video going into more depth about this. Essentially, veganism is used both as a shield and a cushion. Veganism is used to hide their problem. Then when their health begins to suffer, they turn around and blame their poor health all on veganism. The truth is that many of these people already had an eating disorder and they still do. They just swap out their need to restrict certain foods for others. Eating a balanced diet of whole plant foods is just unfathomable to them. They haven't healed anything. Let's see how they feel in a few years down the road when their cholesterol soars and their blood sugar drops into the diabetic range. Or will they give into their carb cravings and return to common sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop being That's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault.